Should I actually remember to take the upgrades off this time? That would be helpful. So on today's exciting edition of the best of the worst, we're going to be taking a look at the scientist. Now it kind of pains me to do this because I actually happen to really like this character, but we're looking at the archaeologist. Yet another class of what I like to call the soldier effect. I don't think any of the scientists are bad. We just have to look at the worst of a good bunch. And in this case, it is unfortunately the buffering symbol. The buffering symbol is an interesting sort of character. How am I alive? It tends to pop up when you're watching YouTube videos, sometimes streams. I... I completely forgot that was there. Generally an irritating little piece of shit, honestly. The only thing I could suggest is get better internet, lower the quality, stop trying to download hentai at the same time. There are many factors that go into the buffering symbol. Well, hello there. Five shots. My man was legit just trying to pretend that I wasn't even there. That's not really how combat works. I don't disappear just by you ignoring me. Oh, nine damage. That is pitiful. You'd ever think you'd see a scientist hitting that kind of damage? Outside of BFN? Ooh, on a 10 streak. Why... Why would you do that? Yeah, let's take on the P Gatlin with the archaeologist. I've got the IQ of a ham sandwich. So let's have a talk about the archaeologist, not the buffering symbol. I actually think the archaeologist is quite an underrated character. I'm not by any means saying that he's disgustingly good. Like I said, I do think he's the worst scientist. But then I think all the scientists are kind of insane, if used correctly. For me, archaeologist is like a worse version of paleontologist. I see paleontologist as like the kind of jack of all trades scientist. And archaeologist is basically the same thing, except he hits less damage and doesn't have fire. So you basically end up with this non-fire damage paleontologist that hits like 30 or 33 or whatever it is. So he's by no means unusable. It's more like there's nothing special about him. Like there's actually no reason to use archaeologist over paleontologist, like in any situation. What's good about him? He's got... A lot of ammo. Remember, I'm using him without upgrade, so he obviously does get a little bit better than what you're seeing. Balkin, this chomper won't waste in any time. I'm gonna chase her down. Fucking hell. He's got a decent amount of ammo, and he's probably one of the better scientists at range, which isn't saying a whole lot, because most of the scientists are shit at range. Pretty much, there's nothing this guy can do that paleontologists can't do better, so... Haha. <laughs> oh. Well, that shut me up. The fact that my carcass has to be next to his offends me. You really are not the smartest, are you? Definitely not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Well, this is fun. Tosses are out in full force today, making their presence felt. So archaeologist ain't the kind of character that I'm going to sit here and tell you avoid him like a play. He's not that bad. A character like E Citron, I would literally tell you to avoid him at all costs. You can still get by with archaeologists. You can still have a good time with him. It's just a bit like, you know, anytime you fancy a direct upgrade, try the paleontologist. He's better on pretty much every level. You know, it's really flattering that you want to see a masterclass E Citron demonstration. Mate, fucking been there, done that. Piss off and let me play zombies. If you're going to make me play plants, I'm going to play druid. Just to be a dickhead. Whoa. So yeah, what do we reckon about the archaeologist? Sick character, right? So now that one's over and done with. I did the absolute business there with my nine assists. Nice. See, a lot of scientists that can't do that. Nah, I'm not taking that fight. Slightly few too many disadvantages for my liking, personally. This fight I could take. He's alive, I don't believe it. Come on. Oh. I love how this is starting to become an episodic ritual. I start off playing Team Vanquish, because that's what I normally play. About, I'd say, 20 minutes in, someone starts targeting me. So then I back out and find mix mode. Literally every single episode, I think I've done that. And we even got Great White North. True to form. Wolfie, it's 2020, mate. People are seriously still targeting you. 
Whoa, the shield saved my ass just then. It would seem hard to believe, wouldn't it, that it still happens. What can I say? A lot of clown licenses get dropped and I guess everyone thinks that I pick them up. Hey, fucking, I ain't got them. I stuck him. <laughs> I'll give her a sticky. Bitches love stickies. I think we're going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed the video, then please do me a massive favor and smash like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Also, if you want to come watch me live, I'm on Twitch at Wolfie Plays Live. Stream a little bit later on. You better be there. And I'll see you next time.